my pickups for the month of March 2021. The first game I got is Falconeer for $22 new on Amazon. And this game reminds me of uh, Panzer Dragoon, even though it's not a dragon. It's an eagle, but it's like a shooting game, just like Panzer Dragoon. Kind of reminds me of that. Uh, maybe I'm completely wrong, but I haven't played the game. So yeah, I just got this a week ago. I haven't opened it yet for my for the Series X. Next game, Pawn Shop, which had a lot of import games. And this game is Call of Duty Modern Warfare for 4. And it's region free, so it works on a Series X. So backwards compatibility with the disc, you just put it in, which is nice. So this was three bucks, decided to get it. You know, the Japanese version, I believe. Yeah, it is a Japanese version, but it has English, uh, English voices. So I know what's going on still. And uh, just got it decided because it's three bucks and I don't have it for the 360. And I can't find my PS3 copy anymore. I only have the digital version when it came with uh, uh, Infinite Warfare. Next, I got Mirror's Edge. I got the digital game on PS3 when they had, I forgot already, a sale. Oh, not a sale, I'm sorry. They were giving them away, EA. But now I can't access it for some reason. It says my license or something is expired, which stinks. So I got this for four bucks. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's. Uh, I can't wait to play it because I played it a little bit. But then again, I forgot about the game and license now, so I can't. Uh, so I decided to get a physical copy, which is good because, of course, PS3 games are going to become expensive. Power Smash, I didn't know what this was, but after I bought it, this is the Japanese version. It's actually a Virtua Tennis 2009, but it has a separate trophy list. Again, it was at a pawn shop which was selling imports, which is cool. This is the Japanese import, but it has English, uh, English text and voices, so I can still navigate it fine. Next is Everybody's Golf 6, which is uh, Hot Shots Golf on the Vita. And also came out digitally in North America, but a physical copy in Japan. So I decided to get this for three bucks at the pawn shop as well. Uh, MLB Bobblehead, which I have not played. Uh, this was four bucks. Decided to get it, and it was never released in North America. Uh, it kind of reminds me of MLB Power Pros, if you remember that game. And then Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I don't know why the clone shop had a Japanese version, but it's in English. Uh, because I loaded up. I'm going to make sure these discs work before I can return them. So I got this. It was uh, $6. So And this one has a campaign, which is nice. Black Ops 3. I played Black Ops 1 and 2. just never played the third game. And then the fourth game is all multiplayer, which I did a video on, which I got from the library, which I don't like. Because there's no story campaign. It's an online, which I don't have PS Plus. So... And then this last game is baseball, baseball game. Uh, it's also like MLB Power Pros, and it's a 28 version of, yeah, Power Pros 2018, Jikyu. And it's nice because you can play in VR. So I got this for $8 at the pawn shop, which is cool. So I got some PS4 games, PS3 games that were not released in North America, or if they did, they were pretty cheap. So anyway, those are my pickups for the month of March, 2021. And thank you again for watching. And I didn't really break the bank with these, which is a good thing. Uh, anyway, thanks again. You take care.